All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the doctor. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. This is for the championship. If you begin your instruction in the dressing room, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. It doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. 
big off punch land. Now he gets back to range. The hip toss as he takes him down now. Right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Huge block there. Nice uppercut by the champion. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Great posture control by his opponent. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't have too many Looking for the takedown, he gets it. Just over three minutes to go. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Let's go, Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Kick him off. Yeah. Now the guy's got armbar, he's attacking it on. And attacking armbar. Position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck and he will have to submit. Back to the feet now. 38 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Wow. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Sixty seconds now to go in the fight. He's back in the clinch position. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Try to establish that jab. Right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last one. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I see you working. Ready to fight? Ready. 
Round two is underway. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Nurmago Medov. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Throws the right hand there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Nice kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook, Behind the right. Oh, and well, just like he drew it up with us on Thursday, catches the kick and counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job countering with that nice takedown. Great fight IQ, seeing that kick coming and turning it into his offense. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Straight punch lands. And he landed the right hand there. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here, and starting to find himself in the pocket. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can get off. Single collar tie now. Flush right hand is true. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. The right hand just misses. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. That's a big strike right there. Let's make it go. Let's get going now. And that one certainly found the target. about the reach advantage off the top of the show. So oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. What a punch. Strong work with the inside leg kick. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Another shot lands upstairs. Right on the button. Take it down.
let's show you some of the highlights from the previous round. DC, elbow striking 101. Elbow striking 101. Every time his opponent got close, he knew that was going to be the game plan. His opponent was going to pressure. So he was trying to smother him. But instead of just grabbing no, and holding, he used those elbows to really damage his opponent and put himself ahead in this fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big punch land. Ooh. Trying to establish that jab once again. Got the single collar tie. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Got clipped with the right hand. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got the leg, got the position, got another beautiful thing. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Back to the feet now. Nice movement punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range though with it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Good place, and it's not getting any better. Nice punch by Nurmago Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. I love watching this guy move on the ground, another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Great punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Just missed with the straight left hand. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just misses with the right. Clean with the right hook. Out. Up, you go down as another thing on the hip lane. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Nurmago Medov's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh, now he's in trouble. Control of the body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Straight right hand, no good. 
Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anyway. Oh, nice jab. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Margo Medov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night that landed. Beautiful takedown land. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Both fighters back to their feet now. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, single collar tie now. Big knee to the body. And there comes the separation now. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nurmagomedov's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. His opponent's got it. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or a big ground and pop. Side control. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on him. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands often. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just misses with the jab. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. The cardio you must have in order to secure this many takedowns. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head to get his opponent on his hip. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. Somehow stays in the fight. Right to the mouth. 
measuring up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Fighters back to their feet here. One to the top. 20 seconds left. Oh, big left hand there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. The guys have pounded, and they are fighting behind the grill up. Body closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, Sometimes you don't see it coming. Beautiful fun. Oh, single collar tie here. Outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Nermago Medov's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Big punch position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent out by hanging on his head. Hardy gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. As he goes to the finish, watch his chest go up. Yes, he got Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land his strike. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Right hand on point. Oh, what a punch. Just missed with the left there. Able to land there with the straight left. Blocks that strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. It has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student is certainly followed up on that pair. So much. That's right over the top. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going low and it's right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Spinning back fist. Oh, that's a nice 
strike. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nurmagomedov. Slips the punch. Well, we're both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you gotta beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spot, and he should retain his title. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 39-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib So heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains, the heavyweight champ of the world.